Delighted to say joining us, Victor Espinosa, jockey on board California Chrome. And, well, Victor, first up, we've been watching every morning. The, the, the Chromies have been out in force, and uh, you've been uh, watching what's been going on. Um, how pleased with, with you the way the horse is shaping up? Very. Um, yeah, so far, it's so good. I, I've been there uh, twice in the morning. I walked that trail back and forth. <laughs> Let me tell you, it's not easy. <laughs> it's far away. <laughs> it, it, is, it is a long walk. <laughs> yeah. It's like five miles. But, uh, uh, you know, keeps you fit. Keeps you fit. I know, right? And um, the, the last couple of days, I I was watching him, and I walked behind him, and he, he, looks, he looks ready. And when you see the race, and obviously... For you, what, how do you think the race could pan out? Much is made of the draw, but you, you've sort of damp, you said, well, we deal with it. We're, we're, we're not bothered. Yeah. Um, at, at this point, I don't really, like, uh, have, you know, plan how, uh, you know, I will ride him and, and then the race. But because uh, I have, a, like, you know, the post-11 is going to wait, wait out because I... And the way is kind of good, so I can see what every other uh, horse is going to do out of the gate, and, and maybe I can control it a little bit, the race. So. And how do you assess the American challenge this year? Obviously, Frost did spend a lot of time chasing you uh, last year on American <laughs> Pharaoh. <laughs> so, uh, but what about you, Emsha Wish and some of the others? How do you assess the American form coming into this race? They're tough, man. Um, uh, Frosty, he's he's uh, he's type of the horse that he's always tries. You know, he's always there. Like you were saying, he was always chasing me in the Triple Crown, and 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 he he was the only horse in the Triple Crown that he never fell. He's always right next to uh, in, you know American Pharaoh, um, and 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 probably is one of the probably the Frosty. He's one of the horses to beat in the race. I mean, besides uh, all the other horses, but. Yeah, he's a and then and I saw him run over here um, the prep race. He ran an unbelievable race. I, but um, uh, not just the frost there. I mean, I, I'm assuming other horses there in in the race. Emsa wishes obviously comes in of some some good form as well, switching out to the dirt. So the American Challenge looks really strong this year. Yeah, I, well, everyone is stronger yeah. in there. You know, the Tad Tad Pletcher's horse. He's He's looking pretty good in the morning, uh, and he he ran a big race the last last he ran. I put, you know what? I saw the the field uh, this year. It's really strong field because uh, every horse pretty much the uh, they run in their this their last race. Big performance for every horse, so <laughs> it's a challenge. Yeah, and how pleased were you with California Chrome with the prep run and everything and the way that went? I mean, just in the end, it, it looked. From the viewer's point of view, is perfect. You know, I hope that that he run the way he looks, <laughs> and the way he's training right now, because he's been training, you know, pretty good. Um, last year he had really strong campaign, and um, and and it was just a little bit, a little bit too much for him. Although he ran a big race, but this time for the such a time meal you know, that he has some time off and. And he ran one one race in America, and now he came here. He ran, you know, one race for the prep. Uh, he did he did everything right, and now is the third race. The you know they come here for the big cup, so it should be okay. And for you, it's been just an amazing sort of couple of years, really. And then you think about last year, from a jockey riding in America to be part of what you achieved on American Pharaoh. Just explain to people just how extraordinary achievement that was, and for you to be at the heart of it. I mean, <laughs> it must have just been surreal. <laughs> yeah, I, um, I I was very close to win it uh, with California Chrome, and, and and that's how all it started with California Chrome. And just one of those things. Uh, yes, I was probably the luckiest guy in there. The, one of the lucky jockeys to following year run into American Pharaoh and and it, it comes to be one of the you know one of the best horses I ever probably rode and and be able to win the, the, the triple crown. I think every every jockey then and in the world is his dreams to win the triple crown, right? But you know, I never know that I ever, you know, during my career to win the triple crown. I, I only know like, okay, 
That's just a Kentucky Derby. I, I just want to win the Kentucky Derby. <laughs> but um, it was amazing. I have, you know, really, really lucky two years. And, and, I will and that, that fa not. final race, I mean, it was watched all around the world. People were watching it. And the crowd and the noise... What were you experiencing? Did you manage to block all that out? How, because it gets noisy on World Cup night here, but I mean, that was just an extraordinary experience for you to be to riding. And it just place went mad. Yeah, I, I remember when I went to, the, like, when the horses had gone to the track, uh, it was so loud. There, there, I just, like, hear, like, an echo in there. <laughs> uh, during the race, you know, obviously, I don't, you know, hear anything because pretty much I'm focused and... and, and and, and the horse that I ride, and I want to make sure everything goes, you know, right on the race. Um, but after I pull up, and 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 then I bring, uh, I I was bringing back to the grandstand. Wow, I mean, they they ground it was shaking. <laughs> it was so loud. Everybody was so excited, and and it was just amazing experience that I have. I, I'll probably never. You know, have that experience again, unless if you win it again, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, what are you winning it at this year? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> but I mean, for you, that obviously, again, with the California Chrome, I mean, the privilege, I mean, you really have just, if you look right now, this is a golden period for you. Are you going around thinking, well, what's happening here? Why, why is it, <laughs> I might usually say, you are the yeah. luckiest man. Yeah, I am. Um, a lot of things, uh, sometimes I think there are a lot of things that happen to me in life, it's not, nothing makes sense. <laughs> But uh, and nothing is easy, right? Um, I think it's all about the, the like a lot of work, and dedication that, that I had during my career. Now that I look back, I you know it, I really you know dedicate myself in in my career. I do not do a lot of things that I want to do it, but you know, in in the end of the day, and 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 in the end of my career is is going to be all worth it because. You know, winning all these uh, races and, 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 and ride all that amazing horses. Um, that's it. I mean, that's all I work for. And, 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 and that's what I wanted, like, have those uh, goals in life. You know, a lot of times you have dreams, but, you know, not, sometimes they don't come true. But, you know, goals is always, uh, for me, I always reach my goals. And, and, uh, and finally, I, you know, build the, the winning trip crown and my goals. But... Like I said, uh, when I started my career, I want to be, I want to be the best ones. I, I want to be the, the the best jockeys. I don't want to be the best one, right? <laughs> but I want to be the best ones. And um, and I, let me tell you, it's not this easy. And for you, obviously, associated with American Pharaoh, California Chrome, the team want to be the what the winning most in terms of earnings, California Chrome, and you could be associated with both horses. Now that's that <laughs> is. <laughs> See, that's what I'm talking about. Nothing makes sense, right? But I'm in that position <laughs> and lucky enough to be able to ride all the amazing horses in there. And, and, and for that reason, I think I'm, I'm just a really lucky jockey in there.